Hey guys, just a very quick little video. So first off, I wanted to announce that I'm doing some challenge runs for Palantine. Time, nothing too special, and I'm going to be using some mods for them uh, at some point. However, uh, first off, we need to actually figure out how to get mods running, and I know some people have trouble with that. So first off, when you have your Steam entry right here, you actually need to go and look at the game right-click properties, go to betas, and select the modding support beta. That's pretty much the magical thing that you need to do to get mods to work check modding support at that point at least what happened for me is the game had to re-download completely at that point all the settings that you had set within the game get reset your save files are still there don't worry about that your save files are going nowhere however all your settings you're going to need to make sure the settings are correct again and you're going to need to re-download the entire game at least for me maybe it's going to be different when another patch hits or whatever and yeah, then you're gonna have this entry where it also says modding support and at that point all you need to do is just go into the workshop, take any old mod that you have, like for example the Psychonauts right here, then you can subscribe to it. And what happens is if you go into the game and you bring up the pause menu, imagine you have the pause menu right in front of you, at the very bottom right it says mods and then you can check some mods and it very much depends on the mods. On some mods it's a hat for example here. It says hats uh, obtainable instantly. Another is a badge that's obtainable instantly. There might be others that, for example, um, where is it? Divine Source, for example. Uh, it's a collectible die and it's found in Time Rift Roulette. So, for example, if you were to get this one and you activate the mod within the game, for this one, you would have to find it as a die in the Time Rift Roulette that you get after a Time Rift Refuse Time Rift token. And that is how mods right now work for the game. I don't actually know exactly how um, specific levels will work, but if you find a level somewhere in here, it will probably tell you what the level is called. And within the game, there are some... Um, you can activate the developer console within the, uh, within the menu, and then you can probably use a developer co uh, console command to bring up the correct level. However, that might be different depending on what the level is like. Maybe there's other ways to find the levels. Right now, I haven't actually heard of anyone creating a level yet for um, Had in Time yet, but once levels will be made for this, we're gonna have to find out exactly how the integration with the level works. But that's at least how to get mods to work in general and what the general gist is behind mods in this game. So yeah, just wanted to make this a quick video because the next video I'm gonna upload right after this is gonna be a challenge where I play through the game and the only badge that I'm allowed to use is the Lilac badge, which uh, from Freedom Planet. And as it turns out, it's not actually possible, so I had to use the hookshot twice. You can't actually beat the game without be using hookshot twice, as it turns out. Uh, like, in two instances. Two button presses. You need two hookshot button presses to beat the game, at least. A everything else is still beatable. That's a bit sad. Anyway, just thought I made this video a little bit because now I'm doing some challenges that require mods, and if other people want to install some mods as well, that's how you do it. So yeah, that was that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time.